Hey guys, happy Friday! A pretty major trailer was released this week for something we've all been waiting for. I think you know the one I'm talking about. Lucifer. Geeks of the Week! I need to make this video really quick because I am cracking down on the fanime stuff I have to get done. So Jake, your prop wall, freaking awesome. I love the ones that you made. Everything looks great. Mario, that Lucifer trailer does look awful. I am so sorry. And the Supergirl trailer. Okay, so the first few times I watched it, all I saw was gitchy rom-com. And like the girl power vibe felt more like a gimmick than just part of the story, and it honestly made me feel like it was gonna be so focused on the you go girl movement that it wasn't gonna be allowed to just be another show about a superhero. However, I've been seeing a lot of people comparing this trailer to the first Flash promo trailer and drawing a lot of parallels between the two of them. But while this trailer just felt like a rom-com gimmick to me, the Flash trailer only made me excited for a show that I assumed was going to be awesome, and after watching both of the trailers back to back, there are a lot of similar elements in both of them. The only main difference is the background music. Both trailers start off with a bit of a dramatic backstory, followed by some quirky awkward moments, a little bit of a romance vibe, and of course, action. But while the Flash trailer has a more intense soundtrack playing underneath everything, the Supergirl trailer has fun teen comedy movie songs with some weird dance rhythms thrown throughout it. She's flying, and it's epic, and they have ah 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 oh playing underneath. Like, what the hell? So yeah, watching it again and completely ignoring the music, I like the trailer much more. And that, my friends, is why soundtrack is so very important. I did actually find a version of the trailer that someone recut. I'll put the link below. It cuts out all of the rom-com stuff and all of the terrible background music choices, and it just feels so much better. I know Mario pretty much already asked this, but how are you guys feeling about the Supergirl trailer, right? Like I said, I'm feeling much better now that I can ignore the music. It kind of has more of a Flash vibe than I realized, and I love Flash, so fingers crossed. Also this week, S.H.I.E.L.D. had its finale. Pretty intense, no spoilers, really. But obviously there had to be a Whedon moment that made me want to punch the screen, and anyone who watched it will know what I'm talking about. Arrow also had its finale, a lot of shit got wrapped up, but it ended on a really interesting note that made me wonder where the series is going. Although a trailer for something called DC's Legends of Tomorrow kind of answers that question, while simultaneously bringing up a thousand more. I hadn't even heard about this until the trailer popped up. I posted it on my cosplay page and on the Geeks of the Week page, but if you somehow didn't catch it, I'll post the link below. Basically, it looks like a patchwork group of heroes and villains are having to travel through time to stop evil shit, and we all know how much I love time-traveling shows, especially considering there's actually an actor from Doctor Who involved. But the trailer looks amazing, but I can't really tell if it's gonna be a series or some kind of, like, mini-special, but it makes me wonder about the future of Flash and Arrow, because I can't really tell from the trailer if they're gonna be fully involved or if they're just gonna be involved in the beginning and then it'll become its own new show and then with the legends and flash and arrow and supergirl and titans we're gonna just have this massive cross network tv dc orgy thing happening because if marvel is going to be taking over the big screens gosh darn it dc is going to be trying to take over the television and i think flash is having its finale next week and i'm really excited about it but i guess we'll see where that ends off and hopefully I'll be able to watch it around all the fanime prep, which fanime is next week! And you know what that means, another stupid convention cell phone video from me, if I can get Wi-Fi. Anyone going to fanime, me, Steph, and Lulu will all be there as per usual, probably not together all the time, but if you run across any of us, say hi and take a stupid photo with us, because those make life better. Plus, we love you guys, so I hope everyone has an awesome weekend, stay geeky, and we will see you next week. Possibly in person at a convention.